What's up everyone, today we're taking a look at Quilt, a device that lets you access any of your files, whether it be audio, video, pictures, and everything else from essentially anywhere on earth with an internet connection. So how does this thing work? Well you have the Quilt itself, which is the main unit, and that has a bunch of ports and slots, which I'll talk about in a bit, but all you have to do is plug Quilt into a power source and connect it to the internet via an ethernet cord or wirelessly. Then you can plug in and insert as much storage as you need through drives and memory sticks. After that, you will now be able to go on your phone and into the Quilt app, which will give you access to every file on the storage devices plugged into your Quilt. Looking at the unit itself, on the top side you have a USB 2.0 port for storage use, an SPDIF port, an AV port, an HDMI port for viewing files on a TV, an Ethernet port for connecting to the internet, and your charging port. On the right side you'll find an SD card slot and a USB 2.0 port for directly transferring stuff onto your plugged in drives. And then two more USB ports for plugging your other storage devices into, with one being 2.0 and the other being 3.0. And finally on the bottom you have some rubber feet to prevent this thing from sliding around. Now the device itself does cost about $150, but this is the most expensive version being the Quilt 3. There's also a Quilt 2 with one downgraded storage port and slower overall speeds that goes for 90 bucks and right now there's also a quilt go which is the quilt 2 with an included sd card and a cheaper price of 70 dollars aside from the device itself and the included 32 gigabyte memory stick you will have to purchase all your other drives and whatnot or obviously use the ones you already have included with the quilt is that 32 gigabyte memory stick i was talking about a power cable interchangeable wall pins so you can use this thing pretty much anywhere in the world, an HDMI cable, an ethernet cable, and your standard literature. So the real magic happens once you get into the app on your Android or iOS device. On the home screen you can see all the files that are on any storage device plugged into your quilt and instantly view or watch them at full resolution. If you go into a file you can also play it on a TV, check a bunch of cool useful info about the file even getting to see things like exposure, aperture, focal length, and more. If you shot it on an actual camera, you can also share it in a multitude of ways including a secure link that goes straight to the file and nothing else. On that main screen you can also change the source of all the displayed files, so for example you could also show the photos and videos on your phone. This is also how you transfer stuff from your phone to your quilt, by showing the stuff on your phone and then selecting what you want to transfer. I think one area where they definitely missed out is adding the ability to transfer stuff straight from the Photos app on your device. I think it'd be a lot more convenient. At the bottom of the screen you see three icons. The leftmost one lets you instantly take a photo or a video. The rightmost one takes you to some sort of settings. And the middle one lets you switch views between a grid, by date, by location, by media source. And the last one lets you physically search for stuff by location, date, things like that. If you tap on the icon in the top left corner, you get some options to copy every single photo and video from your phone to your quilt, copy stuff from an inserted SD card to your quilt, and directly go through the file trees on your quilt, which is pretty cool. Basically, Quilt's claim to fame is that it's the best alternative to cloud storage. And from what I've seen, I would have to pretty much agree with that. Instead of sending your files to who knows where in the cloud and paying someone else to store your stuff, you're doing it yourself and you have them all on your drives at home or wherever and you still have instant access and the ability to easily share them with others. Thanks for watching, the link to the Quilt 3 is in the description below. As well, don't forget to subscribe for more upcoming videos and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.